Well, next we take in a special chapter of aviation history down in Tullahoma. Rob Wiles found a place that honors a little airplane that made a big impact on air travel during its heyday. Here he is at the one and only Beechcraft Heritage Museum. The most modern general aviation planes often land and take off at the Tullahoma Airport, and you're likely to find the pilots of these sleek craft pausing for a while to take a trip back into aviation history. And the history in particular of one type of plane, according to Wade McNabb, curator of the Beechcraft Heritage Museum. So the museum started in 1973, and the idea was to preserve history of one particular airplane and the people and the events that it was part of. So that was the Beach Model 17 Staggerwing. We've been in business for 34 years. We've gradually expanded, incorporated not only the owners and operators of the Model 17 and enthusiasts, but also the Model 18 or the Twin Beach, and now we have the Bonanza and Barron enthusiasts as well. So we truly capture all of Beach's history, if you like, and all the people who were a significant part of that history. Model 17 was very innovative for its day. It was much faster than anything. It was designed specifically as a businessman's airplane. In other words, go out for your business meeting and be home for dinner was the idea. 200 miles per hour in 1932 was a big deal. Um, some neat uh, aerodynamic characteristics, neat handling characteristics, an overall high quality airplane. It's a beautiful machine. Uh, when you look at it, the lines are very pleasing, very curvy. Um, the name Staggerwing comes from the arrangement of the wings. The upper wing is aft of the lower wing. Uh, that was exact opposite of the airplanes of its day. And uh, from a standpoint of aerodynamics, that helped with handling, and it also helped with pilot visibility. A pilot could actually see a bit better in the air uh, to look out for other aircraft, etc. When Walter Beach first built the Staggerwing back in the 1930s, it was fast. In fact, according to a documentary on the plane, showing off its speed earned it its nickname. It was so fast, in fact, that when Beach entered it in the Miami All-American Air Maneuvers races of January 1933, it ran away with first place. In fact, during a high-speed pass of the airfield, the public address announcer exclaimed, look at that negative Staggerwing Beechcraft go, thus giving the Beechcraft the famous Staggerwing signature. This distinction would stay with Walter Beach's new biplane forever. The Staggerwing itself has changed between 32 and 46. And the first all-metal Beechcraft was a Model 35 Bonanza, which we also have here in the museum. And for its day, it was a very clean, aerodynamic, fast, efficient design. And it cost them a lot less to manufacture than the Staggerwing. And so that was a very successful airplane from the beginning and continues to be successful today. It's still in production over 60 years later. Staggerwing enthusiasts had been gathering here for years to swap stories and admire each other's craft. And so back in the 1970s, a group of Tullahoma residents decided this would be the perfect place for the museum, recalling the plane and the man and wife team who made it a success. So the Beach Aircraft Company was founded by Walter Beach, he and his wife, Olive Ann Beach. And what's interesting to us, particularly in Tennessee, is that Walter Beach grew up in Pulaski, which is 30 minutes down the road from uh, Tullahoma. Walter was a bit ahead of his time, if you like. He and the uh, lead engineer uh, collaborated on a very innovative aircraft, and he continued to do so through his career at Beach Aircraft. He focused on the product. Uh, he focused on selling the product, while his wife focused on making sure the business ran efficiently. Uh, so they were a great team. Unfortunately, Walter passed away in 1950. Uh, Mrs. Beach continued to run the operation until the company was acquired uh, in 19, I believe she was chairman of the board until 1982. So she was an integral part of the company and her focus was mainly on customer service, making sure that the company delivered a quality product. And uh, most people you ask today about the reputation of Beach, that's exactly what you'll hear from the flying community at, at, at large. 
So, the museum has many historic aircraft, many donated, some on loan, as well as historic photos, and it still provides a sort of spiritual home for the Staggerwing owners who gather here each year. It's a bit of that infatuation Wade McNabb hopes visitors, plain nuts and the more earthbound of us, take away from a visit to the museum. Well, I think it's a one-of-a-kind facility. There's nothing like it anywhere in the country. There's nothing like it uh, for any of the other manufacturers of aircraft, as far as I know. But what I hope they see is a little bit of history. I hope they can appreciate uh, what aviation was like in the early days. I hope they can get exposed to it so that the interest passes on to the next generations. The next generation that might have a designer who will create a plane as innovative as the ones on display here at the Beechcraft Heritage Museum in Tullahoma.